Welcome to the General Concepts of Basic Life Support, or, or BLS. In this video, we will learn about the BLS Adult and Pediatric Chains of Survival. Taking the right action quickly and confidently can make the difference between life and death for an individual dealing with cardiac arrest. When you find someone who is in need of your help, quickly start and follow the steps from the appropriate chain of survival. The first step in the adult chain of survival is to recognize symptoms and activate EMS by calling 911. Next, perform CPR by providing high quality chest compressions to circulate oxygen. Then, locate and activate the AED. Once you've activated the AED, the EMS team will perform advanced life support. When the individual becomes stable and is taken to the hospital, they will receive post-cardiac arrest care. Now let's review the pediatric chain of survival. Emergencies in children and infants are not usually caused by the heart. Children and infants most often have breathing problems that trigger cardiac arrest. The first and most important step of the pediatric chain of survival is prevention. This means if you come across a child or infant who is experiencing breathing problems, take immediate action. In the case that the heart does stop, perform high quality CPR. If they are still unresponsive after performing CPR, then activate EMS by calling 911. Then the EMS team will perform advanced life support. After they are stable and taken to the hospital, they will receive post-cardiac arrest care. This concludes our lesson on adult pediatric chains of survival. Next, we will review 2015 BLS guideline changes.